This video is packed full of fun Dollar Tree DIY outdoor and patio projects that you have to try just in time for the spring and summer season. I love to always check for the Dollar Tree rugs. Even if they're not very big, you can like piece them together with a little bit of like burlap and popsicle sticks and make them bigger. But I love these utility mats. They're like a nicer quality than the larger rugs, but anyone that you want to pick up, I've had really good luck with just using them under a covered patio and none of them have really like faded or the paint hasn't come off. So this works really well, very inexpensive and a fun way to dress up your patio area or entryway. But I am just attaching these two together like I said because they're not very big and then the secret here is to pick up a couple of these felt pieces they just say decor on them I'm not really sure what you would do with these but I love using them as stencils you just lay them out on the rug take a can of spray paint I like using like a very contrasting color like the white on the black and then spray over these I didn't even want to purchase many of them so I just used the same one over and over so I didn't waste any of these but just making sure that I spray it extra thick around all of those details but looks really cool stacked up on other rugs to have more of like a layering effect. So my Dollar Tree is constantly putting out all of these like 3D metal pieces and I have a really fun idea or DIY that you can put these to good use. I picked up the butterflies. I feel like they would be perfect for the spring and summer season. I painted them a really bright, fun blue color. I did use chalk paint. I feel like it works really well on the metal. And then I'm attaching these to a stake. Now I love these wooden stakes from the Dollar General. They're just a dollar there, so very inexpensive and they're very sturdy. It's more of like a square shape and it has a pointy end so you can easily stab it in to the ground or into a pot or planter. For these, I painted the inside of the butterfly and then attached them to the stake with some stronger adhesive. And then I made some fun little antennas using some nautical rope. Door hangers are a fun project to make in the spring and summertime. For this, I just took any of the circles that Dollar Tree had and I flipped it over backwards, painted it white, gave it a little bit of greenery at the top, as well as added a couple of beads. But the real secret here is to add like a little pocket for some florals. So this looks really good. It's actually using the kind of the same circle. Just use a utility knife to kind of score over it and it would break off to make the same shape because you want this to be the same size as the original sign. I painted it white, but then then I'm building it up with some of the tower blocks so it has more of a 3D effect and creates this little shelf or pocket where I'm able to kind of push down some florals inside. I added this black little hello word on here. I feel like I got this from Walmart. I know that they have lots of little like words that you can pick up in the crafty section. I filled this full of some pink flowers. I love pink and all of the fun spring colors. So filling this up as well as some greenery and it just really displays your flowers beautifully and you can always customize this to fit your style. I feel like the perfect outdoor project is to make something really cute and fun but can be a little bit functional. So I wanted to put a house numbers on this sign. I started by one of just the really thin little flower cutouts from Dollar Tree, as well as one of these wooden circles. Any would work. It just needs to fit inside the flower because I wanted it to look a little bit more 3D. I give it more of like a zigzag pattern just to be a little bit different and fun. Painted it a bright blue color and I'm gonna be attaching that to the middle. I think it's kind of a great way to camouflage in any flaws or like if this weathers a tiny bit before next year that you just make it look a little bit distressed so adding in some grays so if it gets a little bit dirty it's just going to blend in a little bit more but putting the house numbers on a separate like little longer piece of wood and a dollar tree sells these in the crafter square section and then i'm going to be attaching these together i add a rope to the top and then tie the knots in the front and then add wire to attach the little bottom piece i do mod podge over the numbers just to give them extra security because we all know that stickers are just going to peel off so trying to make this as sturdy as I can.
And then as well as any outdoor project, you want to make sure that, the, that you seal this the best you can. So I love using the 2X Rust-Oleum Clear Spray Paint and just going over that to help just make it water resistant. And then I'm upgrading to this bigger tub from Dollar General. I think it was around five to six bucks, but Dollar Tree does sell smaller versions of this. I'm just kind of emptying out all the excess spray paint that I have. So I had some old silver as well as gold. I painted the bottom gold, but then to blend this in, I used some of this like stone finish spray paint that I picked up from Walmart. And I feel like it gives it a really cool like higher end effect. I wrapped the handles with some nautical rope just to make sure it didn't look like a beverage tub or ice bucket or anything like that. I want it to make it look like a planter and then filling in just some fun little flowers that I picked up from Walmart and filled this full. But you always want to make sure that you do add some drain holes to the bottom if you are going to make this. A great way to use up some of those large leftover seasonal signs that we all have on hand is to attach them together to create like a really fun large porch sign. So I have some old Christmas ones. I tried to peel the paper off and I just decided I wasn't even going to mess with that. So you could paint over it or add some brown paper back there, but um, just use old like black paint or anything that you have just to hide any of that. Flip this over and paint it white. Now these do have like the little staples where they did have like a hanger attached to the top. I didn't even sweat that. I just painted over it and then still gave it more of like this distress effect. Now it's time to add in the wall decals. I found these gorgeous sunflowers that Dollar Tree has year after year. They are so perfect to put on both sides of this sign and then you can kind of fill it in with whatever you want it to say. I personally got these large wooden stickers or like a wood fake wood effect stickers from Walmart but you could add any word that you want here even if you wanted it to be like a real wood word but just something like about the porch or outdoors like a cute little saying I just put welcome to our porch but I feel like the wood goes perfect alongside the sunflowers I decided to put porch in all caps so I put that at the bottom and then I feel like starting your stickers in the center you just get more of an even area you don't run out of space and you definitely don't get like your word more to the left or to the right it just fits it in perfect after you get everything put down I did add in some outdoor Mod Podge but if you didn't want to use this specific outdoor one you could um, just do like a regular Mod Podge and then spray this with the clear spray paint I think it is really cute to decorate with little gardening tools, even if you're not huge on gardening or um, just don't love it. This is a fun way to display a few of the Dollar Tree little gardening tools to look really cute out on a patio area or if you have like a she shed. But for this, I am just attaching two of those wooden planks and I needed to build it up because I am going to be attaching this to a set of those hooks and they just didn't have a lot to attach to. So put some of those longer boards in the back. You could also use popsicle sticks attach these two together but I know Dollar Tree does sell some longer pieces of wood now so you might not even have to take the time to attach these together but I did put some wood glue in between them just to give it more of a seamless look attach a rope to this set of hooks and then really going to dress up the piece of wood that I'm going to be attaching to the hooks so I found this welcome to my garden if you don't have a Cricut um, you can just use some Dollar Tree stickers or freehand anything I used to love printing off quotes off of my computer kind of sketching on the back and then tracing over that to transfer it over you could use like some carbon paper but attach this to my sign and then it hung some of the fun like Dollar Tree tools off of it this is really easy to make but looks really cute and I did hang it up with one of like the Dollar Tree command hooks
These little white metal buckets are one of my favorite Dollar Tree products they put out the springtime. For this one, I just drilled some holes in it and made it like a hanging planter, but so many ways you can use this. This was like a shorter one, but for the bigger ones, I just took an MDF board and grabbed three of the taller planters, screwed them down onto the board, filled them up with some greenery, and this looks gorgeous as like an outdoor dining table a centerpiece that you can even fill with rocks just to weigh it down. Springtime is a great time to get these large trays to make over for your outdoor living space. For this one, I just got picked up any color and I covered it with some silver spray paint. I wanted it to, to look a little bit different, so I painted the inside or the middle part of it with a darker like truffle color paint and then attached some rope handles. This is really simple to do, but then you can just kind of dress this up with like a citronella candle or a fake plant or like a little lantern. And this looks really gorgeous setting on like an outdoor side table. Next, if you want to grab one of these little arrow pieces, it looks like a birdhouse or a house shape whenever you turn it to point upward. So I'm painting it once again with a super bright blue color and then going to dress this up. This is going to be like my little house or birdhouse at the top and then going to attach this to a stake and make some fun little signs on it. So I feel like it's really fun to add white into your paint. It just gives it a little bit of texture and makes it look a little bit different. So um, you can tell that I just kind of brush that right directly on top of the paint. I painted the steak with this brown color and then started dressing it up. For the roof, I added some of these little square blocks. They worked perfect. I just glued them in a row and put them on both sides. And then I'm taking apart a Dollar Tree sign that had these little arrows on there, painting them white after I flipped them over, and then added on the metal words, Welcome Spring. I attached all the words and then added in a few extra little touches and I feel like this is once again something perfect to set down in a pot or planter or you could stab this down into the ground. If you enjoy painting but easy painting this project is for you I love painting the little fun flowers but in an easy way because I'm not like the best painter but I use two like tag shape signs that Dollar Tree carries all the time flip them over backwards I made a little circular shape at the top and then drilled some holes in them so that I could put some nautical rope and this makes it look like the perfect little set of tags but I wanted to dress these up for springtime for like a door hanger so I just free handed the word spring and I love of going with a pencil first because you can see that I do fix this several times before being satisfied with how it looks especially like the P I couldn't get it straight before I had all of the other letters done filled this in with white paint and started painting some super easy fun little spring flowers on here So I didn't want to get super like hard flowers to paint, but I thought this was really cool. You could just take like a little blob of paint that's kind of in the flower shape, but what's really making this look like a flower is taking a smaller paintbrush and adding the lines all the way around it as well as the pop of white, and it looks really gorgeous. I used some green paint to add in some leaves and little greenery and then made a couple of matching flowers on the spring sign.
Attaching these together makes like a bigger scenery piece. So I added a little bit of hot glue and then I wanted it to look like the second tag wasn't just floating in the air. So I did add a piece of rope to it and just attach it behind the first sign. Dollar Tree puts out these fun like graphic tote bags that are really great to turn into fun spring pillows. So I just trim off the handles, stuff them with some old stuffing. I find it way better just to use old pillows or something that you already have versus trying to buy just stuffing from the store. It's way more expensive that way. So this is a great way to reuse and not just toss out your old pillows. I usually have a couple extra in the closet, just leaving them for extra projects just like this. I glue the top together. Now they actually make spray that will help like waterproof fabric for outside that you can put on here. But for this, I'm just going to be leaving it under a covered patio and I'll bring them in if it gets really bad outside. But I glue these down in place and then just kind of stack them on our swing or couch area and this looks really cute and adds that perfect pop of color. I feel like it wouldn't be an outdoor or patio video without the classic wreath that you can hang on your door. So for this, I'm using the biggest wreath ring that I could find at Dollar Tree, as well as some white and yellow flowers that I really liked. And I'm just going to be tying these all around the wreath and then adding in like a bigger wreath charm that we're going to DIY. So for this, I just tuck it kind of behind the wire frame and then tie these in place with some pieces of jute string. To make a bigger sign or charm for this wreath, I just stained one of the wooden circles. This one, it was like 99 cents at Walmart, but Dollar Tree also sells wooden circles you could use. I tied up a bow really fast to attach to this wreath, and then I'm using my Cricut to actually cut out Home Sweet Home, but once again, you could use stickers or some of the Dollar Tree decals. They have tons of stickers out right now that would work perfect. For this, just Mod Podge over them well. I sanded this down. I did add some tower blocks to the back of it, so it would stick up and just kind of not get lost in the flowers and then cut out home sweet home attached it to this sign and I just love how the white vinyl looks on like this wooden stained circle I always make sure that I do Mod Podge over any stickers or vinyl that I'm putting outdoors. I don't want this to peel up whenever it gets exposed to heat or a little bit of moisture, but for this just attached it and that finishes this one up. Loved how it turned out. Let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite and what your plans are to dress up your patio space this coming warm season.